Hello, my name is Gian Domenico Iannetti and my colleagues and I investigate how we perceive pain. We recently studied how good we are at localizing pain on our body, a property called spatial resolution. Uh, how do we do this? It's very easy. We give two stimuli very close in space and see the minimal distance at which they are discriminated. Now, in other sensory systems, like touch and vision, this spatial resolution is not homogeneous. For example, in touch, it is maximal on the fingertips, and in vision, it is maximal at the center of the visual field. And this is because these areas, which are called foveas, are very densely innervated. In contrast to this, pain, which is a much more ancient sensation, was believed to be very difficult to localize in space, and then lack an equivalent to the tactile fovea on the fingertips. In our study, we combined psychophysics with histology and demonstrated that this notion that pain cannot be localized precisely is incorrect and that there is an area of very high spatial resolution a fovea for pain on the fingertips. To study pain properly we need to use a stimulus that causes pain without causing touch. The way of doing that is to hit the skin using a laser stimulator. The laser only hits the most superficial skin layers where pain-related fibers are located without stimulating the tactile fibers that are located deeper into the skin. To study the spatial resolution of pain, we wanted to deliver laser pulses very close to each other. To do this, we reduce the laser beam down to a diameter of one millimeter. We delivered pairs of consecutive stimuli at different spatial distances, on the hand dorsum and on the fingertips. We asked our volunteers to judge the location of the second stimulus, whether it was more proximal or distal than the first one. In other words, closer or farther away from the body. We discovered something that we did not expect, that pain has a higher spatial resolution on the fingertips than on the hand dorsum. On the x-axis, we are plotting the distance between the two stimuli. On the y-axis, we are plotting the proportional trials in which the volunteers said that the second stimulus was more proximal than the first one. Let's start with the hand dorsum, represented in black. The slope of the curve is inversely proportional to the spatial resolution. The steeper is the curve, the higher is the spatial resolution. The curve for the fingertips, in green, is clearly steeper than the curve for the hand dorsum, indicating that participants were more precise at localizing pain on the fingertips than on the hand dorsum. Similarly, the discrimination thresholds were lower on the fingertips than on the hand dorsum. These results clearly show that there is a fovea for pain at the fingertips. Now, we wanted to find out what is the spatial distribution of pain receptors along the hand. And we collaborated with our colleagues at King's College London and Oxford University to quantify the density of pain receptors in hand. We estimated the density of pain fibers in the same subjects by taking punch biopsies of the skin of the fingertips and the hand dorsum. Surprisingly, we found that the density of pain fibers was lower in the fingertips than in the hand dorsum. In the histological images, we can see that there are many more fibers in the sample taken from the dorsum than in the sample taken from the fingertips. Therefore, we have discovered that we are extremely good at localizing pain on our fingertips, much better than on the hand dorsum, and that this finding cannot be easily explained just by the innervation density of pain fibers. The next step now is to understand what are the mechanisms of these area of very high spatial resolution, a fovea for pain on the fingertips.